Lady Edelgard? I'm sorry, Petra. Am I interrupting? It is okay. I will soon be finishing. I am offering prayers to the spirits, so they will be guiding us to victory in battle. Is this how you pray in Bridget? In Fodlin, we usually save such things for a chapel. Yes. In Bridget, we are offering our prayers to the forests, the mountains, the skies. Anywhere the spirits are dwelling. In Fodlin, the people are offering their prayers to the goddess. In this, we are differing. But we are the same, in hoping to live long and fight for what has meaning. Yes, of course. Perhaps I shouldn't ask this, but... Is it not unwise for you to be risking your life here in Fodlin? You are the Queen of Brigid. Your people need you to return safely to them. Yes. Your words have truthfulness. If I am dying here on foreign soil, I am betraying my people. You gave me your promise to be releasing Brigid from its vassal relationship to the Empire. And if I die, your promise will be dying with me. Yes, I suppose it would. If you died, I would have to renegotiate our terms with your successor. That wouldn't be an issue if she were as capable and reasonable as you. But would she be? And for the record, Petra, I don't want you to die. You are a dear friend. Your words give me great happiness. But I am still content to be risking my life here in Fodlin. As we get closer to cornering our enemies, there's no telling what kind of foul tricks they'll employ. Are you certain you don't wish to walk away from this? It could easily go awry after all. I am knowing the danger, but I have done my deciding. I will not be turning my tail and running while you are standing and fighting. I'm grateful, but unlike you, I cannot back down from this fight. This war is one of my own making. And I am choosing to share it. If we lose, then we will lose. But I will not be having regrets. I will be fighting with you until the end of bitterness. That is the prayer I was offering. Well, I'll do my best to avoid a bitter end. Regardless, you have my thanks, Petra. Your resolve humbles me, but also gives me strength. You are the Emperor. I am the Queen. Our relationship is not one that is usual. Not everyone can be standing on equal feet with you. This is something only I can be doing. And so, I will continue standing by your side. Let no one say the Queen of Bridget is not gracious and noble. But I do hope we never turn into a couple of stuffy royals who insist on doing everything by the book. I have trust that you will never be letting that happen.